Good morning, caregivers. I'm Carol with Let's Talk Dementia Live on Facebook. Thank you for joining me today. I'm always glad to know that you're here. I go back each day and look to see how many of you showed up, <laughs> and I'm thankful you do. Today, I would like to thank our sponsors, Life in the Carolinas. You can find them on YouTube and at www.lifeinthecarolinas.com. It is never, ever a bad day for a good story with Life in the Carolinas, and we're happy that they sponsor our show. Also, HD Imports located at Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill. You can find them at 80. 3-9850-985. Tell them Carol sent you because you want to go get your Honda, Hyundai, Acura, Toyota, or Kia repaired or maintained. I said all of those makes of cars just in one fell swoop and didn't read them. Proud of myself. <laughs> Wonderful mechanics, the mechanics of choice for the Howell household ever since they opened their doors. Also would like to thank Beth Crosby. Um, Beth is a copyright editor. You can find her at editorbeth.com and her email is beth at editorbeth.com. She is working with me and she can work with you to help improve your marketing campaign and also make sure your website's what it should be. She'll work with editing anything you might produce. She is really good at what she does and she's funny and you know I like that. Well. Today, I wanted to talk with you. I wanted to update you on something first. Yesterday, I told you about the Infla 650 that you can order from Vitamin Depot um, and you can purchase from Vitamin Depot, call them. Um, would give you the phone number, but I don't have it here in front of me. But it's on yesterday's show. You can find it on YouTube or on the website. But uh, infla-650.com is their website. Michael's been using that product to help with pain that he had in his... No, his left shoulder, yeah. And within less than 36 hours, huge improvement. He told me last night he's probably 95 to 97. 97, I like that number. 97.685% better. <laughs> anyway, he's a lot better. I uh, had another lady um, wrote yesterday and said her mama swears by it. She's been on it for years and wouldn't think about not taking it. So yours truly has told Mr. Howell, go get me some of that stuff. And the reason I'm doing it is twofold. I was in a car accident some years ago that has left my right shoulder blade unhappy. And it will spasm and hurt. And I'm hoping it'll help that. And as I told you, inflammation is a direct bleeding uh, indicator for Alzheimer's. There is a connection, but inflammation it has a direct connection with lots of disease in our body, not just Alzheimer's. So, you know, we just don't want inflammation. Well, considering my, my mother on May 31st just died of advanced Alzheimer's, my grandmother had Alzheimer's before her. I'm wanting to keep that inflammation down. So tell Michael, go buy me some of that. So David, Michael's going to be coming to your store today to purchase me some Infla 650. You guys might want to check it out. So today I want to tell you about another product that would be good for your health as far as maintaining a healthy body and a healthy brain, a healthy heart to help reduce the chances of dementia. And that's what we're talking about this week. That's the subject this week. And that product is called flaxseed. Now, if you buy flaxseed, oh, wait a minute, I'm about to get it all over my keyboard. It's not good. If you buy flaxseed, it's a little seed, a teeny little seed. And if you take a spoonful of it, you stir it into your cereal or your oatmeal and you, you know, ingest it that way, it's going to come out just like you put it in because your body can't break down that little husk that is the seed to get the oil out that's in it. Your body can't do that. So it's kind of a waste of your money, you know? Let's not do that. But what you wanna buy instead, I gotta wipe it off this label here, is ground flax meal. And this is, this is what it looks like here. I don't know if you guys can see as this, hold on, we'll do this. As this falls down, it's just real finely ground flaxseed meal. Now you can add this to anything, pretty much anything that you're fixing. If you're fixing um, a bowl of oatmeal or even your cereal, just stir in maybe a tablespoon. <clears throat> if you're making a casserole, throw some in your casserole. If you're baking bread, put some in your bread. Um, you could mix it into your salad dressing. I mean, where could you not put this stuff? And it doesn't take much of it to make a difference in your body. Now, I wish I knew how much you need to have a day. I don't. Um, that is some research that we need to, to maybe 
identify, but I know that adding it to your diet is very healthy and it doesn't take much. So, you know, if you're fixing burgers, now I don't eat meat, but you could stir it into or, or work it into your meat patties. Um, maybe you're making vegetable burgers. If you are, call me, I'll come help you eat them. Put it in those vegetable burgers. Um, if you take one tablespoon of ground flaxseed meal and you mix it with three tablespoons of very hot water and let it sit for a little while, it gets gelatinous and you can use this as an egg substitute if you're baking. That's a really neat thing to do, especially if you are vegan, because you know vegans don't eat any kind of meat byproducts. Um, I love eggs. I am a pescatarian, and that's got nothing to do with my religious preference, although it sounds like it should. But I was vegan for about three years, and and follow that diet still, except I do eat fish and I do eat eggs. So that threw me off the vegan track onto the pescatarian track. But if you are not using eggs, that's a good way to substitute. Another way you can get flaxseed if you're not interested in the ground is flaxseed oil. Now that is a great way to get it too. A tablespoon or uh, maybe a teaspoon to start out with, just take it down, put it in a spoon, suck it right down. And that's the liquid form of it. If you buy it off the shelf, I believe it has to be refrigerated. So if you're buying it off the shelf, uh, investigate that. Because I think it's supposed to be refrigerated. I know after you buy it, after you open it, it has to be refrigerated. So it enters into your body in a form that your body can process it when it's in the oil form or the ground seed, the ground flax meal, and it does its wonderful work inside your body. So what else does it do for your body? <clears throat> well, the one of the best things that about flax seed is it provides provides lignans, L-I-G-N-A-N-S. That sounds like it should be your next door neighbors. You know, the lignans, they live next door. Well, no. So you're going, well, what the heck are lignans? Well, lignans have plant estrogen and antioxidant qualities. Well, now we know antioxidants are good for us. So flaxseed meal contains 70 to 80 times more lignans than any other plant food, okay? It would be necessary to eat over 40, F-O-R-T-Y, four, zero, 40 cups of broccoli to get as much lignin as you would get in one ounce of flaxseed. I ain't eating 40 cups of broccoli, even if you covered it with cheese that I'm not supposed to be eating. That's, I mean, nobody's gonna do that. So you can see how just a little bit of flaxseed in the meal form or the um, oil form is very good for your body. And lignans helped um, to be a natural cholesterol reducer. Now, I've told you before that Mr. Howell fights his issues with cholesterol and the doctor has pretty much determined that he's gonna stay around the 200 to tens because it is a genetic thing with him. He's just probably not gonna drop below that. But we're just gonna see because we are adding regularly this flaxseed meal to his diet because um, we haven't been real consistent on that. I will just admit it, but that's getting ready to change. So another really good benefit of flaxseed in your body is it gives you beautiful skin. Now, as we age, our skin starts to dry out. Not that I would know anything about that. I've seen it in other people. <laughs> and you get to the point that you can moisturize all day long but you're still dry as a desert well why is that what kind of lotion is it going to take to moisturize your skin well it's not going to moisturize you've got to moisturize from the inside out so you've got to start that moisturization inward coming out flaxseed oil will do that at one point my mama was just so dang dry and this was she was in early um, mid-stage. I mean, she was still very active and coming and going. In fact, she was working, I believe. And um, just dry, just, you know, she was just scratching it, just flaky, and it was itchy and so annoying for her. And it's not pretty for your skin to look like that. So she started using flaxseed oil. She would drink about a tablespoon a day when she remembered to do it, because Mama did have dementia, and when I remembered to remind her, because, well, I had things going on, 
but the difference in her skin was incredible. She really did start having soft, supple skin again that didn't itch and didn't get all flaky. Something to think about. This is good stuff we're talking about. Now, where do you get flaxseed meal? Well, good news. You can get it at Walmart. A company called Bob's Red Mill. Bob's Red Mill makes a whole line of good for you products. It's sold on the shelf there in Walmart. Generally, Bob's products are where flour is. So if you go to Walmart and look where they've got their flour, um, at least the last time I looked, they had a whole line of Bob's Red Mill products and get ground flaxseed meal. If you want flaxseed oil, you can get it at your local vitamin store. I believe Vitamin Depot has it um, on Selenies Road in Rock Hill. But you can check around and find flaxseed oil in your part of the world, I'm sure. So just remembering that anything that's good for the heart is good for the brain. What can we do to make our heart healthier? What can we do to get our cholesterol down and maintain our sugar and all, keep inflammation down? Do you know that the skin is your largest organ in your body and your skin can become inflamed? Oh, believe me, Carol knows this. I deal with all kinds of skin issues, and if I don't want inflammation on my skin, I need to do things to keep my skin healthy, right? Because I don't want inflammation, I don't want dry skin, I don't want all that nasty stuff going on. So that's what we're talking about this week, simple things that you might can do to help prevent dementia in one form or the other, because we don't like that booger. Oh no, we don't, no we don't. So last night, um, a little side story, I've told you that for some time I've used CBD oil, and Mr. Howell very much wants me to use CBD oil, because when I run out, he'll go, are you out of CBD oil, baby? I go, buy you some. <laughs> and I don't run out because I, well, I ran out when I was in Florida on vacation, and it was all in Rock Hill, but I have bunches of it now. Well, so I told my daughter, I just have not been sleeping good since Mama passed, and the only way I can get a good good night's sleep is by taking a medication that helps me sleep. If you've listened to me very much, you know I'm not a medication girl. I'm a natural girl, finding natural ways to fix or repair or heal or correct. But I said, you know, I've got to sleep. So you have to weigh the, the, the side effects of that medicine with the side effects of not sleeping, and it's pretty important to sleep. She said, well, Mama, take your CBD oil at night rather than taking in the morning. So I take it in the morning so I'm not quite so witchy. That's the W I said, witchy during the day. Um, I thought, well, you know, if I slept better, maybe I'd be less witchy. It's worth a try. Well, I took a nice big, it's in a, um, it's liquid, so you, you pull it up in a dropper. I took a nice big dropper full last night. I went to bed. I slept from... I guess it was probably 10.30 till 6.30 this morning. I didn't even get up and go to the bathroom. That, in and of itself, is a miracle for a postmenopausal woman my age. Just telling you, it is. But much less to sleep, too. Oh, have also ordered CBD oil for my little girl, Zoe, my miniature dachshund, who has seizures. She had one night before last, woke us up at 1.30 in the morning having a seizure. It's awful. I feel so bad for her. But CBD oil is being used in animals for various reasons, and to control seizures is one of them. Isn't that neat? I know Sheila Corey's watching one right now. I wonder what she thinks about that. She'll have to write and tell me. She works at Animal Hospital. And so, anyway, CBD oil is also important in my world. You guys might want to check that out. David sells it at Vitamin Depot. Yes, he does. You guys, I want to thank you for joining me. I hope you will visit our sponsors, um, HD Imports at Flint Street Extension for maintenance of your cars, 803-985-0985. Tell them Carol sent you. Watch Life in the Carolinas. Check them out at their website, lifeinthecarolinas.com, and on YouTube where it's never, ever a bad day for a good story. And if you're working on your website or trying to build your business, Beth Crosby's the girl you need to talk to. And you can reach her, Beth, at editorbeth.com. Her website, editorbeth.com. She's wonderful in helping me in so many ways. All right, so tomorrow we're going to talk about regular blood work and physicals and maybe learning to be thankful. Hmm. It's all important. I'm not sure which one I'm putting at the top. Yeah. Oh, hush. That's my alarm telling me I'm over time. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Keep smiling. Hey, dude. It's good for you.